everyone, Rascal here. And Mama. Welcome to our podcast. Today we're covering Netflix's live action adaptation of the anime Mob Psycho, Psycho 100. 100. Psycho middle school student Mob tries to live a normal life and keep his growing powers under control, even though he constantly gets into trouble, like Psyche. Mm-hmm. While the show keeps the same storyline as the anime, it has changed most of the outcomes and episode plots. So yes. if you haven't seen it, don't expect to get the same exact story as the anime, but it's still fun. Yes. And. Oh, and be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updates on future podcasts and World of Pause videos. Absolutely. Now, this one is actually a mini series. So, unfortunately, there will not be a second season adapting season two or other parts of the manga. It just keeps, it's sort of like the live action Bleach movie. It keeps the first season storyline, condenses it down, changes things around to tell a different, complete story. Right. You have the same characters. That was a great thing. All of the characters that appeared in the original anime do appear in this live action That's series. That's true. Because in uh, Bleach, there were quite a few characters missing, but in this one, they chose to keep them in. Even if they didn't have the same personalities or they didn't have to do the same things, the characters were still a part of the story. Right. And for in here, there was also a shift in its tone. Mob Psycho's anime is definitely crazy comedy quirkiness with some drama or dark tones when it comes to what's happening with the psychics Mm -hmm. in here this one takes less comedy and it's more drama Mm -hmm. more like a romance more i guess more emotional take for some reason i did not think mob cycle could be an emotional take unless it has to do with the two brothers and i think that's what they were going for in here they didn't do as much humor unless it had to involve certain quirks with the characters most of it had to do with mob struggle with his powers wanting to tell a girl he's always like that he loves her um the danger of the psychics being taken by evil it was less 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 uh fun now mob's name is shigeo kageyama Mm -hmm. and in the anime the story really focuses on him and his brother is like a side art but in here ritsu got most of the attention and yeah. really had a major role to play in the live action series and for us it didn't make sense why they chose to go that route maybe they wanted to show more of the relationship between the brothers but to me in the anime that still is represented and shown and understood yeah even though they come at odds at some point in the anime as well as in this live action movie right but um for some reason ritsu really it was like um Ritsu Kageyama uh, and featuring Mob Psycho right, 100. Right. right. <laughs> it, was such a, it was such a big shift all of a sudden. Yeah. It starts off with Mob, but then Ritsu is introduced like on the spot. There's no like taking your time knowing Mob and his boss and these other characters. You know, Mob, then you know the brother, then later you know his boss, then it's, then it keeps going. Mm-hmm. So, I'm not sure why they chose that. They also showed he had more of a darker side in here than in the anime. Because in here, they tried to keep it like it was the anime because they had more animations. Like, they had them do crazy expressions. They actually put the effort into doing some animation for the CGI effects. They had some fight scenes with some effects. They couldn't go sky And they kept the- Dimple. They right. actually kept Dimple in the right. live action. Right. Then now they couldn't go crazy and have him flying through the sky and make tell it. it was a green screen and someone's face was painted, but it still worked. Right. And for here they couldn't go into the sky and having like cosmic battles in space and everything. But I guess they did do they did do some fight scenes. It just unfortunately some of it feels a little lackluster. Not because you know what the anime had and you know they're gonna do more in anime, but in here it felt like they were sort of holding back. Yeah. Perhaps they were worried about injuring actors or they didn't want to do so much where they get tired and they ended up being more stilted fight scenes and they're being more about the psychic powers where they stand there and they tell you they're doing the powers mm-hmm. to save money. Now, what I do love they did in here with his boss, Reagan, is we got Reagan's backstory, mm-hmm. which I don't know, maybe that could have been season two of Mom, mm-hmm. which we haven't seen, but in season one, you didn't have his backstory. Mm-hmm. The backstory arc in here was a nice thing to add. We love knowing what he did for, how he came to be 
in the business he's in. We know how he met Mob from the anime, but just knowing how he got to be where he is and knowing his true nature, the, the person he really is, adds to your liking his character more. I mean, you like him anyway, even though he seems to be a shocker, mm -hmm. but you learn that he's not in what he does, and you learn he really cares about not only um, Kayama or Ma, but also his brother too. So. Right. And we did mention they changed characters a little bit in here. Now, for the core part, they are who they are, but they started... At least he had the blonde hair. I was right. happy he had the blonde right. hair. Right. And he just had black hair. I mean, right. like, who is this? Well, so, he had it. Reagan had it in the beginning. Right. And he dyed it. But... And in the end, we only see him with the blonde. So I was glad they didn't pull Winry Bell and he <laughs> had his blonde hair. I was really happy. Yes. Now, as I said, some of the characters have been slightly changed. Now, their their purpose and their roles in the show remain the same. But they started, I guess they figured they needed more depth. Because they ch took out a lot of episode plots that had to do with using the psychic power. So they kind of condensed it. So Mob is a little more, like... He's a little more shy. He's a little more of afraid of things. He's more emotional in here. He cried more. They, well, I guess they wanted to have him not just be the blank stare like Psyche K. So they had him be more emotional. He fell off because the thing that was funny, he had deadpan expression right, exactly. like Psyche. Only with not being annoyed and everything, but he was just so deadpan about everything. That's what added to the humor. Right. Then you had the boss, the, what's the game, name again? Reagan. Right, because I almost called him the, thing, the guy from Bleach. Uh, Reagan was shown to be uh, more emotional too. And they show instead of him just being this guy you think is a con artist, he really isn't. He had more of a heartbreaking backstory and he was more emotional, he was more philosophical, he had a deeper understanding of what it means to lose everything. It was kind of odd. Like I said, we don't know if this is in the anime or not, but for some for some weird reason, he uh, is more of like an emotional character that you felt sorry for rather than this crazy goofball fun guy with some with heart to him. Mm -hmm. And you had, of course, the girl that Mom liked, who ended up getting a lot more screen time. And so did the, I'm sorry, the silly girl. The, the tele, one of the tele well, she wasn't club. silly in the anime, but in here, they made her act so comical and so silly that she began to be annoying every time she came on screen. Right. Every time she came on, I just wanted to go away. She wasn't funny. Um, the way that she was presented in the anime, she had some humor to her, but she also had some sense. Right. And she also was a uh, mob's friend. Right. But in here, she was just overly silly. It's, she was supposed to be the comic relief, but she wasn't. It was. It, it just could have done without her right. being this particular... It could have without them messing up her characters. Right. Story. That's the best way I can put it. Right. And then you have Mob's brother. And you kind of... The thing was you didn't know how his personality was. Assume now he was such a great little brother. And then as it slows the reveal, you knew he was sort of jealous of Mob's powers. He wanted powers. Mob wanted to be normal. Sort of like the reversal thing. Mm -hmm. But here, well, you got that. But they really egg it on from the first or second episode. There are times when he uses the psychic powers... Maybe because someone tells him just use the powers and he doesn't want to argue, so he does it. And they have these long times where they sit the camera on Reese's face or his expression, and you could tell it's supposed to be jealousy or or envy. And it was like this never happened in the show. You didn't really see that until it got to the point where he was gonna get his powers. Then having here that. Oh, he always had uh, psychic powers, and he awakens them on his own. So the whole point of Dimble being in there <laughs> was pointless. If right. he could have the powers himself, all he had to do was get angry. What was the point of keeping Dimple around other than the sake of him being in the anime? Right. And then you get to towards the end, when they bring in the, um, I think it was Black Claw. Yeah. When they bring them in... They're also really different. We know they couldn't look like the anime characters because they're all crazily drawn. We understand that. But then they started adding some odd things. Like they took out the scene where they thought that Ren, Ren, Reagan was the boss. But they completely overlooked that and immediately found out, oh, he's not the boss. He's a fake. And they took out the entire scene where it was supposed to be 
humor right. before the action. It just stays for the last five episodes chasing action, drama, do or die, villain attacking, they're deadly for five episodes straight. There was no break in it being funny except for the telepathy girl. Right. One other thing I like uh, that they did is the um weightlift club. Fitness. No, it was the, bo the bodybuilding body body club. club. They kept the same uh, personality yes, and attitude. Yes, that's true. And they were really kind to the students that were picked on. And we really love if they kept that as part of this live action series because you like them in the anime and you like them in here. Right. So it was fantastic that they kept that. The only thing they do do is actually hilarious. In the anime, they've already... I have muscle bound and they're trying to get other people to be uh, to exercise with them. Right. In here, they're newly formed, you can tell because none of them are muscle bound. But they nothing's will wrong be. with nothing, but they will be. Right? <laughs> nothing's wrong with that. It's just hilarious that oh the muscle building club, where are the muscles? Like, oh they were newly formed, like they couldn't get any muscle bound people to do the role, so it's like they're new. <laughs> so that you know, um, as usually is done in these movies, they're they're teens, but none of these people are teens. No. The girl that plays the um, head of the psychic club, it is obvious that she has not seen teen years in a very long <laughs> time. Like she's in her second year at the eighth grade. Eighth, eighth grade. grade, and yeah, it's like obvious that this person is much older. Maybe they thought by giving her the comedic bent, you wouldn't realize it, but you do. Now. That all being said, if you've never seen Mob Psycho, it won't affect your watching this movie, this live action series because it's different from the anime. Mm -hmm. So take a chance and watch it. It's on Netflix still. If you have seen Mob Psycho 100, but you've never seen this live action series, do yourself a favor and watch it. No, it's going to be a different... Yes, I should say it's going to be a different story, but no, you won't regret watching it. You'll find the joy in it for you. Um that you can connect to watching the anime series and you should know by now what Netflix does when they do live action anime series or movies don't expect it to be the same just go into it watching it for what it is something different and new to watch that's connected with anime and manga right last thing we need to tell you is that there is no English dub you will be listening to the original Japanese uh, no English dub Yes, right. there is no English so the dub. original Japanese with the subtitles on the screen. Right. Side. So you will have to read Sorry, everything. Sorry, guys. For some reason, I usually get sub and dub mixed up, so... <laughs> it's okay. So, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get updates on future podcasts and multiple pause videos. Absolutely. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Rascal Entertainment. I'm Mom Entertainment. And we also want to state that we did do a Mob Cycle 100 anime series for Season 1. So, this should be out already. So, if you haven't watched it, um, do a search. Or, you can just click the link that's going to be on the card for this video and watch that as well. Right. I'm Rascal Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a tuntastic day. Peace. In the mountaintops, rivers and streams Plucking sunlight from the sky in my pocket Give it to you later on in the form of